So this is the stock history function. I'm just sharing my screen now. The construction of RSI. I'll just zoom it a little. Stock history function will enable you to get the history of the prices. So have, this is the syntax I have given. Please look at the syntax, stock history. ITC is the name of the stock. 1st of July 21 to 30th of June 24, 001. Now, what, what is 001? Basically, it is, to, it is to tell you that, okay, I am taking daily, daily prices with the close prices. Neither am I taking high nor I am taking low. I am taking the close prices. And this is on a daily frequency. So with this, the moment you do this, the entire array gets populated. So aaj ki date pe aap dekhoge, kuch 424 ya 425 pe your ITC stock is trading. Is it clear? That is basically your stock history function. Now, once you get the stock history, next thing is to calculate what? The gain or losses. So first we'll calculate the gain and then the loss. So gain it's very simple. Just use a formula. If my next day's price is greater than my previous day's price, then take the difference. This minus this, else keep it as zero. Okay. So that will populate all the gains. Are you getting my point, everyone? So this is just an if-then function I have used to calculate the gain or losses for the day. So jahan jahan pe gain hai, automatically highlight ho jayega. Or jahan loss hai, wahan, zero hai. Same way, we will calculate the losses also. If my price here is lower than the previous price, then there is a loss. What is the loss value? This minus this. Else, zero. So here pe you will get your losses. Now you can also take the absolute value. Here pe you can take the absolute value. That's also okay. And aap dekho ke ki, the best way to check whether your formula is working right or not is to check. Dono column mein ek hi hoga. Either it will be a gain or it will be a loss. Now remember, when we were watching the video, RSI ke day, we took the 14 day interval is normally what we take. The 14 day interval. So you take 14 working days starting from here to get your average gain or loss. Average gain and average loss. 14 day interval. Pehle khali aapko karna padega count manually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is where your 14 day finishes. And put your average here. Just take the average of the gains and the average of the losses. Okay, average. Take for the gain as well as for the loss. So this is how you get your average gain and average loss for the for last 14 days. Once you have this, then you can calculate your RS. RS is relative strength, which is average gain divided by average losses. Is it clear? And once you get your RS, the next step is to calculate RSI, relative strength index. This case, we will use that formula. 100 minus 100 by 1 plus RS. Here they go. 63. I told you, you know, if normally 30 to 70. So, you 63 pe QI, you can make a little bit of sense also because most most of the gains probably have already occurred. Now, 
what we will do for the now can't we can't do we can't keep doing the same thing over and over again so how do you get the average gain or loss for the next day very simple take the average gain or losses for the last average low jo aapne liya into 13 karo into 13 plus take the gain of that day and the whole thing divided by 14 so you are attaching a weight basically So you have attached a weight of 13 to the previous 13 days ka average and added the 14th day. It's just like a moving average and get your gain or loss. The same thing I will do for losses also. Here they go. 13 for the previous average plus the 14th day. It doesn't matter if it's 18, 0 as a position here. So now what we will do is I will just double click this. So sub all days ka average aa jayega aapko. Then once you have this, the next step is to do your relative strength index, which we already know how to do it. Just double click. So your relative strength will also come. And for relative strength index, again, double click. So your RSI gets created. Ye dekho idhar. So this is your relative strength index for all the days. Now, when we plot this into a chart here, we can go to recommended charts and we can take a line chart. So this is your relative strength index chart for your, for ITC. Yeah, they go. Now, here you have to range. So this is the range. So these are the places where it is in the 70 above. These are the places where it is in the over what stage. 30 below are the stages where it is in the oversold stage. So these are the points you need to pick up. Yehi RSI ka chart, when you log into any of your sites like trading view and you try to monitor your underlying price changes, and the RSI, this is exactly how the RSI will also appear. Ye daily hai, isli aapko zyada volatility dikh raha hai. Agar aap usko monthly kar doge, to wo proper, it will show as an RSI graph also. You can, you can even create this into a monthly chart. So that was how we create the RSI on a, and on Excel basically. So you last uh, RFI for ITC. So this we did for number of days also is visible. Since I have done 21 to 24, that is three years. On an average, 250 trading days in a year on an average. 21 days in a month. So that is 252 days in a year. So three in Sal may about 756 days on a day. Now, if you look here, you have approximately 743 days hai trading. Abhi 743 Q hai because it is possible that on a particular, like you have Diwali, you have Holi, you have other national holidays where the markets are closed. So you might have certain lower days in your in your three day period or a three day, uh, three year period or a three year window. So this is how you create a RSI graph on Excel. And the inferences are very simple. You need to look at the, you need to look at the stock prices in conjunction. And along with the stock prices, you need to also look at the RSI, isn't it? So when you look at the RSI and when you look at the stock prices, then you can make a distinction. For example, the underlying price chart of ITC might show a lower lows. But if you construct the RSI chart, it might show higher lows. 
which means it's a sign of a bullish divergence. Bearish makes ulta. So you could you have to read the underlying security price chart as well as the as well as the RSI in conjunction. Mind you, RSI is only one technical indicator. Okay, so the general rules are very simple. 30 indicates over sold situation, maybe the right time to enter or buy. 70 ka range indicates a over bought put condition, might be the right time to exit or sell. And RSI is an indicator of momentum. No technical indicator can lead you to a correct decision or otherwise in isolation. You should always do it in conjunction. And especially when you are doing RSI, be on the watch out for signals like bullish divergence or bearish divergence.